here with omgrc.com. Welcome, and let's just jump right to this thing. This thing's pretty cool. This is the McLan DRK160. I'll put links down in the description below if you guys wanna get one of these. These things are pretty hot, so they don't last long. But uh, we got this, and we also have the Wi-Fi unit. And I've already taken this stuff out of the bag, kind of went over a few things for myself so I could kind of forward and pass on to you guys. Just come with a little fan. There you go. Mount that to your speed controller so it does come with hardware. I did solder my own XT90 plug on there. A little bit of the instructions too. It does kind of forewarn you. Good information to kind of live by with this electronic speed controller. If you run on a 3.5, they give you like the 2080 when it comes to um, your gear ratios. So you want to check that out. Also on top of that is the caution as far as when you're running this thing. Only maybe do two passes and then let this thing cool down. They say to recharge your battery. Get some cool little stickers with it as well. Slapping those on there. More information in regards to mounting your fan and also just more information in regards to the electronic speed controller. It is module. What I mean by that is it does come with the receiver plug right here. I've already plugged in my off and on switch so we can get going on that part of it. Without further ado, we're gonna get onto the computer. First things first, I'm gonna put the links down in the description below so you can download this software. But for right now, what you're gonna do is download the EXE. So they're gonna to need to be on Windows machine. So you're gonna download this, which I've already done. It's gonna go over the information. We're looking for, mine came with um, an older version of the firmware. So we want to go to our latest and greatest firmware, which is the D15-01. The, this is gonna allow us to use the Wi-Fi module as well. That's why we have this little guy right here so we can use that. So for right now, let's go ahead, download that. So it's gonna launch this program. Cool. All right, so now it doesn't recognize anything. Pretty much it's gonna be easy to do. It's gonna take your micro USB cable that you got in the box, so no added things. There's a little cap that's on right in there. I've already taken mine off, so just remove your little rubber cap that's on it. No extra wire, or no more, no external power is needed. You're just gonna be powering right off the USB itself. So you're gonna plug that right into a USB port on your computer. You'll hear a little audible tone letting us know that it's connected. At this point in time, mine's already been upgraded to the latest and greatest, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys anyhow what it's all, what it does. So we're gonna say update firmware. In, in case yours shows differently here, it has a little drop down menu. You can select the latest one. You're gonna click on the update. It's not gonna hurt mine to do it anyway. It's gonna reset all your settings. So just keep that in mind. There, we're good to go. We're gonna go ahead and exit here. We don't need to be connected to the computer anymore. You can go ahead and unplug your device from the USB and onto the Wi-Fi module. Now that we have our Wi-Fi module here, you go ahead and disconnect your USB cable that you had going to it. So we're gonna to go ahead and plug this in. And uh, I wanna let you guys know too, you're gonna to need to, once we get established, so you're gonna to need to download the iOS, iOS software from the clan so do that as well now at that point in time i'm going to show you i'm going to voice over the rest of this here because you won't be able to see what i'm doing at this point but we do have our external power so you're going to need to do that and just make sure your wires aren't touching as far as any of your motor wires just to be on the safe side on that part of it all right now let's go ahead and turn this guy on and you'll see that we have a little blue light so let's go over to the app now. So I'm gonna voice over the rest of it, showing you guys screen capturing on my iPhone. All right, go into your Wi-Fi settings on your phone, find the McLean wireless settings, enter in your information. I was gonna show that it's connected to it at this point in time, but we need to change that SSID information. So that's what I show here. So just make a new password. There's the old default stuff that's gonna pop up here, letting you know that's the default one if you need to reset it at any time. It's going back into the Wi-Fi settings so we can uh, get a new connection with our new information. So I'm just going to go to programming at this point in time. So I can show you guys, you know, now we're connected to the actual unit itself as it says DRK160 up in the top right. But this is showing you all the tuning ability that you can do on this thing. And I'm going to show you down towards the bottom the five settings for drag racing as of right here. So one, two, three, four, five. So pretty awesome. 
And this is just uh, data logging as well, so no information at this point in time, but it's there. All right, so I hope that helps somebody. Anyway, I appreciate you guys watching. As always, pretty awesome deal. If you're looking to get into drag racing, these are the guys. Man, it's lots of tunability on there. I can't wait to get this in one of my DRKs. Or, I'm sorry, DRK. I'm thinking about these guys here. The DR10 and uh, set it on its way and see how it handles. So anyway, pretty cool as long as some of the uh, little pre-programmed settings that are in it. But you guys take care. I appreciate you guys watching. Later.